What's this? This doll's got an orange for a head. Weird. There's a button on it. What happens if I... Oh, shit! It talks? Ah, oh, there's one over there. Yet another Michio-kun. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, did he surprise you? Uh, yeah. Guess he kind of got me. This little monster yours? Monster? <laughs> Heavens no. This is the one and only Ono Michio-kun. Ono Michio-kun? The hell's that? Ono Michio-kun is a mascot created to represent the proud port city of Ono Michi in Hiroshima. I'm Hironaka, the producer for all things Michio-kun. Right. So, uh, this thing represents Ono Michi... how exactly? Oh, surely you're joking. Just look at him. A charming face based on the Hasaku, a specialty of the Setouchi region. A steamy Onomichi ramen hat to add a touch of flair. Onomichi ramen is a staple of Onomichi culture, after all. A cute fish pouch to represent the city's wide variety of delicious seafood. <laughs> cool fishing boots to highlight Onomichi's strong fishing industry. And a trendy shirt with his surname, Ono, in bold. <laughs> he really is the perfect mascot, don't you think? Why, just looking at him brings to mind all that Onomichi has to offer. I don't know about that. He's pretty popular as of late. Even this figure here sells out rather quickly. He's the featured product in the Onomichi souvenir section of our new shop here in town. You're selling this in a souvenir shop? Look how detailed he is! Isn't he exquisite? Well, when you put it that way, sure. The ramen's got all its toppings, too. Oh yeah, didn't this thing talk to me earlier? Yes, a uh, voice plays when you press the button. Observe. Oro, Michio da! Yoroshiku Michi! Oh no! Oh, isn't he great? The way he says Michi sure is cute, huh? Yeah, sure. I was thinking earlier his voice is actually pretty neat. Yes, well, only the genuine article will speak. The fakes made overseas don't hold a candle to the real ones. Fakes? Uh, yes, uh, like this one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Looking at them side by side, they're definitely different. I'm happy he's become so popular, but popularity means there'll always be those looking to make easy money from shoddy imitations. Many of them are obscenely poor quality. It troubles me to think that these fakes would even attempt to pass as Michio-kun. Hey, this fake's got a button too. Wanna try it out? No, wait, please, don't press that. That just makes me want to press it even more. Never tell me not to press a button. Huh? It's not talking. Huh? <laughs> uh, are you okay? I tried to warn you. Oh no, your hair's all frizzy now. And it wasn't before? Anyway, what the hell was that? Well... Got it. So the fakes have shitty batteries and might blow up. That's right. It's bad enough that they're fake, but it's even worse that they explode. I've been going around collecting them wherever I see them being sold. But when it came to hauling off the fakes, the box turned out to be a little heavier than I thought, and uh, I sort of tripped. Uh, to make matters worse, uh, the genuine ones got mixed up in there too. Careless handling of these fakes could result in an explosion. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. 
So you basically made a minefield. Uh, recently, it's been difficult with my poor eyesight to see the finer details of things, making it even harder to tell the real ones from the fakes. Oh, this is all so troubling. I was just on my way to deliver the genuines to the shop, too. Even if I were to ask for help, I would need to find someone with both decent eyesight and a hairstyle that won't look all crazy after an explosion. Where am I going to find someone like that? Hmm? Uh, hmm? Yeah, good luck with that. I'll, I'll see you later. And now wait just a minute! Oh, come on. I'm really pretty anti getting blown up. Oh, don't be such a sour puss. Won't you help me in my time of need? Not many people have frizzy hair, the strength to withstand explosions, and time on their hands like you do. Seriously, do you even hear yourself right now? Please. He's the star of our Onomichi souvenir section. Each one of these figures is thoughtfully hand-painted and assembled by the people of Onomichi. These are all done by hand? Indeed they are. The local grandmothers of Onomichi do it as a side job, as a way of sharing their beloved city with the rest of Japan. Even the children help put the finishing touches on them. I want to get these Michio-kun figures to as many people as possible, for each one contains the hearts and souls of Onomichi. Can you please help me gather the Michio-kuns? Uh, let me think. All right, sure. I'll help you out. Really? Oh, thank you so much! Uh, oh, um... I just realized... That I haven't asked your name. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. I'm glad to have you on board. Uh, this way, please. D okay.
What's this? Hmm. What's this? What's this? Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Looks like that's all of them. Wow, thank you very much. You were just the man for the job. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Glad I could help. But what are you gonna do with all those fakes still lying around? That's gotta be dangerous. Oh, that's okay. I'll have the staff pick them up later. They're all fakes, so there's no need to be careful anymore. Sure. Whatever you say. I must say, I was somewhat touched by how passionately you analyzed those Michio-kun figures. <laughs> you're no longer just Kasuga-san. From now on, you're Ichiban Kasuga Michio Master! No, I think Kasuga suits me just fine. Oh, come now. Not many could have done what you did. Anyway, there were a lot more fakes than I thought. Once a character gets even the teensiest bit popular, it's not long before the fake goods come rolling out. In fact, some fakes are made so exceptionally well that even the professionals can't tell the difference. Damn. Even so, fakes are still fakes. We simply can't let them circulate. It would be inexcusable to those who worked so hard to make Michio-kun goods with love, and to the fans as well. Right. Buying a cheap knockoff's not gonna help Ono Michi or Michio-kun. Indeed. And this isn't just about them. Fill the world with enough fakes, and eventually that which is made with love and care will cease to exist altogether. I don't want honest craftsmen and the fans who appreciate them to ever have to see such a day. Yeah, I feel you there. That's why, as Michio-kun's producer, I vowed to do all I can to fight back against these fakes! Hm. Well, I'll help out in any way I can. <sighs> Thank you. I've been wanting to take down these pesky forgers. They've yet to reveal themselves. Well, I can't say I blame you. Just stay out of trouble, all right? I know! Why not take this Michio-kun figure as thanks for today? Oh? You sure? Absolutely. Be sure to take good care of him. Hmm? Why is his head all beat up? This costume a fake, too? Oh, no. Quite the contrary. That one there is special. Special? A few years ago, there was a man who put on that very Michio-kun costume back in Onomichi. And that fateful day was what kicked off Michio-kun's rise to stardom. I believe that man's sense of justice and honesty breathed new life into Michio-kun. <laughs> I've been carefully saving that costume there on the chance that one day he'll return and decide to become Michio-kun once again. Several of these costumes have been made, mind you. That one is special. <laughs> Sounds like he left an impression on you. Hope I can be half as cool as that someday. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, he certainly was unique. Anywho, you really saved me today. Now I need to hurry and deliver these figures to the shop. I hope to see you soon, Kasuga-san. Keep your head up! Yeah, see you around. Mascots, huh? Protecting these guys is serious business, I guess. Huh? Again?
time to hustle! You look weak. Watch me. With finesse. This could get rough. Do your worst. Well. I take this. Who wants to raise a glass? I'm not backing down. Cool. You have to go on. Come on now.
Robaozu over there looks pretty good. Robaozu. That's a meat bun, right? Damn straight. You're not opposed to eating someone else's? I assumed you made all of yours yourself. Baz is actually sort of tough to make on your own. It's quicker to just buy them. Interesting. Yo. Uh-huh. Yeah. taking me oh right my bad sorry we'll get out of here huh so this is what it looks like guess there aren't as many stalls i mean it is the men's room nothing worse than when all the stalls are taken up and you're standing there about the piss or shit yourself feels like an eternity sometimes yeah, first guy to open up a stall is basically a messiah never would have taken you for the religious type Time to clean up!
Honestly, ayami -kun, you can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on over there? I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! Next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! Uh, if I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. Hey, I noticed you were pretty down over here. You alright? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes. I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but... It was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just going to be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's got to be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around would be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kinda not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in anytime I get nervous and clam up. <sighs> You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. All right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay. First, take a look at this picture. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. This magnificent gate is called the Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, huh? That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? That's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay, 
Next, I'll explain the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Pretty fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. The Swine Latong Statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Wow, that's, uh, unique. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable Swine Latong. Rub the Swine Latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay, that covers it. Think you'll be okay, Kasuka-san? This is tough. But it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Mm, well, when is the real thing? I worry too much about messing up, and well, my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet, so I'll do my best. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later. Sure get around, don't we? No, actually, I've been thinking of going on a diet lately, so this is perfect. You? On a diet? What brought that on? Well, if I'm being honest, it's because I added another notch onto my belt. I'm getting fatter by the second these days, so I figured I'd better whip myself into shape. If it's weight loss you're after, I can be of service. Oh, you uh, got some diet regime I can follow? Indeed. The first thing to do is cut out carbs. You'll see a fairly large change just from that. You'll need to refrain from eating things like onigiri, bread, or noodles. <laughs> if that's all it's gonna take, then sign me up. <laughs> you say that, but you'd totally try to sneak some bread in. That's where I come in. Using the Komijo surveillance system, we can observe Adachi-san cheating on his diet. Well, what happens then? We get out the bow guns. Ooh, a life-or-death diet. Good luck, Adachi-san. <laughs> I think I'll stick to running around. Talk about a waste of the Komi Jewel's time. Hey.
Yo. Ha, <laughs> ありがとうございます。Okay.
はい Yo. <laughs> 失礼しました。Go. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 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 Hmm. 
Watch me. すみませんでした。Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two, and for that, I apologize. No, no. It was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary. But you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh, no. I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, miss. Oh, miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The Swine Latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. 
If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Huh? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks for Bye. Kasuka-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, it's pretty much all I'm good at. But forget me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first, but when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. All right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay, time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us, and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Hayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuka-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly? Hmm? Oh, please, dear. Oh, right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. <laughs>